Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at this fluid simulation and I'm going to give you a few pointers about how to control it to look like this. And You go, well what's that? Well, this is actually a really important setup and what it is, it's, it's following the boundaries of the domain. The domain is just a, it's, where is it, right in here, it's just a cube if you look at the geometry. All right, but what it's doing, it ha it's having a tendency to follow the contours of the cube. All right, it's not just falling down like you would get with a, a normal simulation. And I'm going to show you why. It's down in here. If you look closely, I have this set, my gravity set, at zero meters per second squared. Well, yours is going to be grayed out if you look at it initially. In fact, the, the way you do it is you come over to this third button for your scene, and down in here you, you have gravity, and by default your gravity is turned on and your regular gravity settings apply at negative 9.81 meters per second squared. But now if you go back into the physics tab, you'll notice you don't have access to this gravity setting. All right, So it's going to use the world gravity setting. So let's just recalculate it. Since I'm only running it at a resolution of 45, that won't take that long. And I'll just rebake it. And then we're going to take a look at what it looks like with the regular gravity settings. So the reason I had done this was I, turn, I basically turned off the gravity in the world and then I set this down to 0 meters per second instead of nine, negative 9.81 meters per second squared and that allow, like I said that allows you to kind of control the direction of your fluid it, it will follow your contours better than uh, fluid will it just gives you some control over the what you want your fluid to do for certain types of animations alright so this is about done and then I'll show you what the difference is with regular gravity set Okay, so then now I run it, and you can see it, it's flowing up with the initial velocity that I gave it in the, for the inflow object, and then it just falls down like a fluid, like normal. So they both have great applications, but being able to control your gravity in different directions, as a matter of fact, is really, really useful. All right, so I just wanted to point that out because, you know, if it's grayed out and you don't know what to do with it, well, that's why. So you have to change it in those other settings. And uh, if you want to change the length of your simulation, you can change that as well by changing this right up in here. But you want to try and coordinate that with this. If you have four seconds, four second simulation, you want to make sure that you're running it, you know, like my case, I have it set at 30 frames per second in here. And then that, t so that means I want to look at 120 frames when I create the animation. And that'll keep it within the proper timing for what you want to do. So it's a combination of those three things to do your animation. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.